Hello everybody, welcome to Chalk Talk. I am Kim Davis and it is a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. The Texans, I was gonna talk about them today, just them. They beat the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday Night Football in Cincinnati. You know, the Bengals were undefeated. It's a pretty good Bengals team. They did not look like a good team on Monday night, but the Texans, you gotta give them credit, all right? Especially the defense. The offense, eh, very stagnant. Were it not for that spectacular, and I do mean spectacular, catch by DeAndre Hopkins, that game might have been 6-3, to three, but that doesn't matter. They won. They did, they, they did what they were supposed to. Give credit to the Houston Texans. Next up, the New York Jets on Sunday at NRG Stadium. So why do I have this paper? Because I've got to talk to you about the Houston Rockets. I'm going to have to get my glasses, all right? Here's the deal. The Rockets have fired head coach Kevin McHale. I was having this conversation with an NBA expert on yesterday, and I said, you know what? Kevin McHale is going to be the fall guy. This team is playing horribly, right? Because you're not going to fire your superstars because you really can't do that. Um, I don't know what else Kevin McHale could have done. I heard Daryl Morey's press conference this morning. He talked about how the team just was not responding to Kevin. That's all he kept saying. They were not responding. Here's the deal. They are playing bad basketball, all right? James Harden, the last year runner-up to the MVP, he is playing horrendous basketball. Let me give you some numbers on James Harden. He's shooting 37% field goal percentage, 27% three from the three-point lane. He's leading the team in points, 27.3. He's jacking up a whole bunch of shots. He's also leading the team in turnovers at 4.8. Um, he is, he's just not playing well. He's not, he's, not a, he's not a great leader. We knew that last year. But when you lose, your deficiencies become much more apparent. And for all of those who say Dwight Howard is not doing very well, Dwight Howard doesn't have the killer instinct, listen, Dwight Howard has gotten his game to a place where he is a definite significant uh, factor to what this team can do and the success they can have. They need James Harden to be on it, okay? Dwight Howard is averaging 15 points and just under 13 rebounds per game. So for everybody who says nobody else would want him and offer him a max contract, you're crazy. Those numbers for a big man will get you a really good job. And the fact that Dwight is not playing back-to-backs, that is not necessarily Dwight, Harden, I mean, um, Dwight Howard's decision, all right? Another thing, there's a lot to talk about, but I know you won't sit here all day, so let me mention one more person. Ty Lawson, the Rockets went out and got a point guard, right? James Harden wanted to be relieved of some of the ball handling responsibilities. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. There's nothing wrong with Ty Lawson. He is a point guard without the ball, right? He's a point guard without the ball. Ty Lawson, last in the game that they played against the Celtics, which by the way was flat out embarrassing. He was three of five for seven points. He had five assists, okay? Um, let me say this about that game against the Celtics. Like they, you know, they snapped a four game losing streak. The best thing for other teams right now, if you're struggling, is to play the Houston Rockets because you get a win against them, right? They scored 111 points. That game was tied at the half, right? At the end of the third quarter, the Celtics went on a 14-0 run. The Rockets were up by 15 like two different times. How do you do that? Where do they do that at? I know that's bad English, but you know, that's for the young people. Anyway, so what's going to happen now? B.J. Bickerstaff is the interim head coach. Um, Daryl Morey says he thinks this team will respond to him. We will see. They play the Portland Trailblazers tonight at the Toyota Center. I'm gonna miss most of that game. I'm gonna be doing a radio show, but I will be following it and I'll bring you an update later in the week. That is it for Chalk Talk. So long to Kevin McHale. He was a good guy. He was not the problem. What are you gonna do with James Harden? And here's the other thing. There's 238 million guaranteed reasons that he's gonna have to come, it's gonna have to come from within. There's not gonna be anybody that he's going to respond to. He's gonna have to do some things differently. Hey, listen, they can bring back Red R back. All right, I'm rambling, I'm done. That's it for Chalk Talk. I'll see you later. Have a good one.